It's currently uh, mid-June on the East Coast, and uh, Brood 10 is all over the place. So we have collected and frozen some cicadas so that uh, we can try out a couple of recipes. And today, we've got these 15 little guys and girls. Uh, the females are actually better eating than the males. And I'm going to tilt the screen back up for a second so that I can see what's on your side. Let's see if this will show. There's the camera. The females, you can kind of see, have that vertical uh, ridge. ridge on their uh, abdomen, right? Yes. It's been a long day. The males, on the other hand, oop, do not. They've got more of the... How would you describe that? But they have a bump that extends. Yeah. Anyways, the uh... nails are mostly hollow, so that they have lots of resonant space to make that horrible, horrible noise. <laughs> yes. But both of them are good eating. However, you can't... Er, well, the uh, wings and legs are not so much good eating. Oh, before anything else, I'm going to start some water boiling. Two separate pots of water. Two separate pots of water. Today we are making pasta a la cicada, which is a, a funny name, but basically cicadas are the shrimp of the forest. Uh, any dish that uses shrimp, you could use cicadas for instead. Uh, so like you could do tacos, you could do gumbo, you can make frittatas. Uh, I'm going to honey roast some of them later. Uh, Make cicada nibblers. Yep, cicada nibblers and honey roast are next week. Yes. But, uh, so, first thing to do... Well, this this particular stream... Oh, yes. ...is going to be separate from all of our cooking videos. So if you don't actually want to watch us process cicadas, as in pull off their legs and their wings, you can skip this later in the YouTube thing. Yes, this so is going fair to... fair warning, we're going to be pulling apart insects. This is going <laughs> to be part one of actually prepping the insects. Uh, part two will be probably less terrifying. But, let's see. Oops. See if they come off by hand. Oh yeah. See, look at that. So, cicadas have two wings on each side. I could do this a lot faster, but, uh, we're going to see if... I can mostly keep the wings intact. Jesse wanted to see if we can keep the wings to do some type of art thing with them later. Yeah. I should see what that was real quick. Nothing important. Man, they're so delicate. The wings or the bugs? Eh, both. And okay. these ones... I'm gonna let you pull off the legs. That part's uh, a little creepy. That's me. fine. You don't like... They can pull off their wings. You don't like dealing with shrimp, either. I don't like dealing with shrimp legs, either. And these ones have been previously frozen. So they're not going to be quite as good as fresh. But they're also not alive for this process, which is, you know, the more humane thing. Yes. If you want to eat bugs, you grab bugs, and you put them in the freezer, and they get super cold and go to sleep and die. Yup. The legs and wings are edible, but they aren't good. Which is why we are dealing with them. It's kind of the, uh, the, the most finicky bit of these. If I wanted to be really uh, fancy, I'd try and take out their mouth part, too, but... Oh, hey, look! That one's got its overpositor out. See? Okay. I can actually try and show that to the camera. This one, there's the camera, as it's... The thing that lays its eggs. The thing that lays its eggs out. That kind of... The spike protruding from the back of it. They use that to saw a small, uh line into trees, and then they lay their eggs into the cut on the tree. And then when the babies hatch, they just 
fall to the ground and bury themselves and start uh, eating the tree roots. And there they stay for 17 years. Yep. Oh no, lost a head. <laughs> That's fine. You can pull their heads off if you want, but you know, that's just wasting meat. Yeah. Unfortunately, this process is a little sticky. Yeah. Slightly sharp. And slightly sharp, yes. I mean, they have to be able to dig and climb trees and whatnot. It's the majesty of nature. And since they're frozen, the wings are ever so slightly wet. Yes. Which actually I think helps them not be as fragile, right? Yes. If the wings were completely dry, they would be significantly less pliable and more fragile. That is the other benefit of uh, freezing the cicadas, in addition to humanely killing them. It leaves them... Uh, intact. Yes, intact and uh, pliable when they... Unthaw, or yeah, when they defrost. Okay, the pile of legs, I will grant you, is slightly creepy. Yes, I. You and I are in complete agreement there. Oops, uh, that one's in the wrong pile. I'm doing my best to get all of the leg bits off, but some of them are going to have some little leg pieces still. It's yeah. just the way things are. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the Cicada Licious cookbook, which you can easily look up online, it's available for free. Oh, good, that one's nice and boiling. In the Cicada Licious Cookbook, there's also instructions for how to roast these into flour. If you wanted to just have some insect-based protein flour. And the hard part about getting the legs off is not pulling them off the insects, it's getting them off your fingers after. Right? That's why we did a warning on this stream, because it's slightly morbid. Yeah, this one's a little bit... A little bit weirder. It's not often that people process food. On camera. On camera. I'm not gonna use this one. He's hollow, isn't he? Yeah, this one's very hollow. So there might have been something wrong with him? Yep. Okay. Oh well, that's still 14 of them. Yep. The okay. Recipe calls for 12, so we're good. Okay, so you'll want to move the camera over here, probably. Actually, it goes up here and then tilts down. Whee. Unfortunately, we dropped our fancy webcam. It's okay. These things happen. Okay, so are we going to stop it? Yes, then? I am going to stop the stream here. This will be part one of the stream. Uh, and then I will be starting it right back up. And then we'll have part two with the actually cooking the cicadas. So just end this one.